Okay, the mathematics behind the chambered nautilus. So the popular appearance of a logarithmic spiral is in the shell. So the logarithmic spiral in nature. Other names are the equiangular spiral or growth spiral. A special kind of spiral curve which often appears in nature. First described by Rene Descartes. And here's an image of Rene Descartes down here. So later extensively investigated by Jacob Bernoulli, who called it Spira Mirabilis, the marvelous spiral. Okay, so the logarithmic spiral versus the Archimedean spiral, spiral properties. So the logarithmic spiral can be distinguished from the Archimedean spiral by the fact that the distances between the turnings of a logarithmic spiral increase in geometric progression. In an Archimedean spiral, the distances are constant. That cliff, when you go over the edge, you just see blackness. And you shine your light down there, well, there's no bottom down there. Well, it's down there, but it could be a thousand feet down. So you're looking really over the edge. And the Nautilus are moving down there. So the extraordinary thing is to sit on the edge of that cliff at 100 feet, let's say, and you see these very faint white things coming up to you from the deep. The most extraordinary feeling. It's like being back in the ancient ocean where most of the animals swimming around were like the nautilus back when they were the rule. And to finally see them swimming about, I just had this sense that this is not some ancient, slow, stupid creature. This is a survivor. It's a survivor for a good reason. So at this time, I'm going to go ahead and read the rest of Sea Maid, the Chambered Nautilus. Sea Maid lived at the mouth of the last chamber, and the shell was her permanent home. She could swim outside of the shell, but couldn't leave it because her body was part of it. From this large opening in the shell, the face protruded. And here we have a black tip reef shark who joined the party. And they are often found patrolling the reef ledges where Sea Maid and the other nautiluses were feeding. The surprise of her life, Sea Maid quickly brought in more water into her chambers, making her shell heavier and drop, drop toward the bottom of the sea like a rock. In moments, as Sea Maid made her quick escape toward the bottom of the sea floor, a soft rainbow-colored female squid rocketed down toward the fallen Nautilus. The Nautilus's heart beat fast as the shadow closed in on her. At this time, I'm going to share the class website resources. Okay, so here's the home page. Um, drawing a Nautilus with Oliver Wendell Holmes poem written around it. I thought that would be that might be a nice inspiration for someone to try in their own journal. Okay, so this person, this is someone's blog here. Um, so this person drew this beautiful chambered Nautilus drawing, and then they wrote Oliver Wendell Holmes' poem about the chambered Nautilus all the way around it. So that's very cool. And it doesn't have to be this particular poem. It could be something shorter if you wanted.